All right, I told you I'd be back, and I'm back with Bobby Q's monthly results on our Facebook Messenger program. If you're not familiar with Facebook Messenger, man, it is hot right now. It is being used to bring people into your restaurant, put butts in the seats, and actually track exactly how much they're spending so that you can compare and see a true ROI month over month. Now, if you haven't done so already, definitely subscribe to our YouTube channel. Hit the subscribe button. Hit the notification bell. That way you'll stay up to date on all the latest videos that we put out geared toward helping the small business community. So if you don't know, I'm Alex with Max Exposure. We have a number of videos out there right now that show you exactly how we've used Facebook Messenger to get a true ROI for our restaurant clients. If you haven't looked at those videos yet, definitely check them out. But this video, we're just going to go over the month three results. So this is now Bobby Q's on their third month. And I wanted to use this restaurant um, because this was a client that uh, is local. And we just wanted to track them month one, month two, month three, month four, and keep making videos every month to show you the true power of this program. So January 2019, their monthly investment in this program is $2,000 a month. And you can see how the program is broken up. 25% of that value goes towards Facebook ad and content. 25% of that value goes towards their marketing database. And 50% of the value goes towards redemption. So let's start here. For $500, essentially, they were able to reach 31,000 people in their local area through our targeted Facebook ad. Now we put out an ad three or four miles outside of, you know, around their restaurant. So very localized, only people that are really going to come into the restaurant. And you can see here, they had a cost per person reach of about two cents. Now their monthly investment for their marketing database, again, part of the program, 25% of the program goes towards their marketing database. They were able to get 400 leads. Now that means local people opting in through Facebook advertising saying, yes, I want a coupon from this restaurant. And then they get put into our Facebook Messenger sequence and everything is automated for us to push them into the restaurant. So 400 people this month asked for the coupon. That puts them at in three months, over 1,400 local people have asked for the coupon. So they have 1,400 leads. Now that means we collected their first name, last name, their Facebook Messenger connection. We have their email address. And we have some other important information that a, the restaurant can use. For example, we have how many people are new potential customers and how many people are existing customers. So this was something we only started tracking in month two. So that's why it doesn't quite add up to the 1400. But for month two and month three, you can see that they had about 500 new people who have never been to the restaurant before ask for the coupon. And again, we know that by asking some important questions through our Facebook Messenger sequence that's completely automated, ask if they've ever been to the restaurant uh, before yes or no and then we record that information and we can pass it along to the business owners so they can see that they're reaching all new people who have never been to their restaurant before and giving them a reason to come in and try them and we all know uh, it you know come January February March and December too it's tough especially when we're located in the Northeast it is really cold out it's tough to get people to come into the restaurant especially on a 10 degree day so you can see here we were able to get 67 people to come into their restaurant through our program alone and total so we're now at November December January three months we've had hundred sixty people come into the restaurant through our program and that's a redemption percentage of about 11 percent so 160 people have come in through our program we know exactly how much they spent and we're being very transparent as far as they know how much they're spending on the program and they see the money that they're getting back in redemptions alone now i'm not even factoring in the cost and the value of getting those 1400 leads that they can remarket to they can send email updates to send out live events all sorts of things they can do with that database 
So I'm not even factoring that stuff in or the cost, you know, or the value of getting in front of thousands of local people in their area. So when you break it down like that, in Redemptions alone, they had over, you know, $3,500 come in from this program. In, Jan in January, again, it's a tough month. And they're only doing dine-in, so they're not even doing takeout. And if they were doing takeout, they would get even more people coming in. But their main goal is to fill up the dining room, especially in the winter time. So that's what we're doing. And you can see they've had a total net sales from our program over the past three months of close to $10,000. So I'll ask you, compare that to what you're doing now. You know, has your marketing efforts brought in $10,000 um, in over the past three months. Uh, most people I think will say no, or I'm not really sure what my marketing is getting me. And that's pretty common, especially when it comes to social media and other things, radio, you know, a lot of restaurants will, owners will say, I know I need to be doing it, but I don't really know what I'm getting out of it. Well, this, we're showing you exactly what you're getting out of it. And then the cool part is about this is right now they're spending about $600 towards ads going towards the redemption portion and from that again they had 67 people redeem this month and about 3500 plus dollars in net sales but at any point and what they've started to do is they're starting to put more and more advertising dollars which goes directly into increasing their redemptions and the beauty is that they can keep putting as much money into their advertising spend as they want we don't take anything from that ourselves and the cost of the program does not go up either. So it really only goes towards their results. So we showed an example here. If they spent $1,200 in advertising, they could be getting 134 people you know, come in. They could be getting over 7,000 in net sales. If they tripled that from 600, they could be getting almost 11,000 in net sales and so on and so forth but i think it's important to note like you know unlike a lot of companies a lot of those advertising companies who are doing facebook ads are taking a portion of that as far as a management fee this we're just keeping the program cost the same and whatever you want to put into your advertising and your results goes to your results so that's yeah you know a great reminder here on this table now, if we're looking at some graphs, let's look at the past three months, and you can see the monthly redemptions and how it's ramped up. It started at 34 and then went to 59, and now we're at 67 a month. And that's because of a, of a concept called stacking. And the concept is, in the first month, let's just make this really easy. I'm not that good at math either. So, you know, let's say we had 1,000 people opt in in month one. And only 10% of those people redeem. So 100 people come into the restaurant. Now, we still have 900 people who, have ne who haven't redeemed the coupon. However, the beauty of this program is that we're still sending automated messages to remind them that their coupon is going to expire. Or if it has expired, that it has and would they like another. And we're opting them back in. So we're consistently staying in front of those 900 that 90 percent that haven't redeemed the coupon yet and we keep doing that completely automated driving more and more people in each month so if in the next month another hundred people you know 100 new people come in plus you're going to have a percentage of the people from last month who haven't redeemed yet who are going to come in so it's going to keep growing and so you can see that effect taking place same thing with monthly net sales. They started out making about 1800 in net sales, which is pretty good for your first month, especially, again, dine in. It's around the holiday season. To get $1,800 out of you know a marketing program your first month, pretty good. But then they had $3,000 come, you know, coming in in net sales. And then they had $3,600 coming in in net sales. So it just keeps ramping up little by little. And that's the that's the great thing about this program. Then we look at your total month, their total monthly ad reach. You can see the first month they had about twenty-one thousand. Then total, adding in the second month they had forty-five thousand. Now, in total, 
after three months, we've now reached 76,000 local people within a four-mile radius of their restaurant, which is pretty good in my opinion. And you can see here the monthly leads that they've ramped up to. So they're now at 14, almost 1,500 local leads. So the other thing I didn't touch on with that is that these leads, when we're you know talking about Facebook Messenger, Facebook Messenger has 90 plus percent open rates for messages. That's huge. Compare that to something like email marketing where you're lucky and you're, well, maybe you're not, you're not lucky, but you're doing it really well if you get about 20%. So 90% open rates. And that's just really awesome results, really great stuff. And this client, very happy. And I just want to use it as an example to show you the type of program that's available for restaurants out there. So if you're thinking about it or on the fence, you know, reach out. We can have a short conversation and just talk about some of the things that we've done for other restaurants and see what, you know, comes out of it. So as always, I hope this was helpful. Hope this gave you some insight into what this program is capable of. As always, we'll see you later. Have a great day.